So we are going to be working on blocks B5, D8, E3, G6, and the mirror of that would be B6, D3, E8, and G5. So here's a look at the block, and the fabrics you'll need will be, of course, your hooped battleizer, your optional wool if you decide to do wool. You'll need a piece of fabric 2, triangles of fabric 4. You'll need your pre-pieced sections 1 and 2 for this block. And if you're doing your pieced backing, you'll need to have that ready to go as well. You'll need threads A and a bobbin, thread F and a bobbin, your accent thread and a bobbin, and you will also need your water soluble thread. So let's get started with step one. So I've stitched step one in water soluble thread, which is my placement stitch, and I'm going to be using our optional wool batting. So I'll place that inside the placement stitch and go ahead and stitch step two. If you're not going to use the wool, you can skip, skip step two and go on to step three. So right here you will see the stitching from step three, which is a placement stitch over the wool battleizer. And next is step four, where I will place fabric two right side up over this middle section. So we'll take our fabric, place it right side up. I'm going to make it about a quarter of an inch past this bottom basting line. And I'll put it back in the machine and continue with water soluble thread and tack it down. Step four is completed and what's left to do is to trim this corner and we're going to leave about a scant quarter inch. And now we are ready for step five. For step five, we're going to take our triangle of fabric four and we're going to place it right side to this corner we just trimmed off with our raw edges even and switch out our thread to a neutral thread and stitch the seam. For step six, we will place water soluble thread in the needle. We'll flip this fabric right side up and the machine will tack down the corner. Time to put section one on and we have match points at step seven, eight, and nine. And back when we made this section, we did our seams with a, a thread that showed a color. I did a gray. So you can see, hopefully see right here the gray, a uh, little bit of gray thread from the needle thread. So that's where I know where I'm going to place my needle. That's my match point where the gray thread comes in with the basting line. So I will put section one right side to the last piece we stitched. I'm going to lower my needle so that it just hits that match point. Kind of keep this section square and then hold it down with my fingers, lift up my needle and stitch the match point for seven. Same thing with uh, step eight. We're going to lower the needle and it should very easily match up with the gray stitching line and stitch that one. And then step nine, that is to align the end of the seam. So the idea is to lower the needle and just catch that intersection where the where the basting line comes across and goes up just to keep it square. So we'll stitch that. And this is all with our water soluble thread. So now we're going to look, see how they look. If you don't think you've got them placed correctly, you can pop out the stitches and stitch it again. But it looks good to me. So now for step 10, we will place a neutral thread in the needle and we'll go ahead and stitch this seam. So I've switched out my thread to my neutral thread so I can sew my seam. And the first thing we need to do is drop our needle where the seam is going to start and align the needle with the basting line from our section to make sure you have it square. So once you have it aligned, I'm going to hold it down with like a stylist. 
and go ahead and stitch that seam. And now we're ready to put on section two. Before we put on section two, we have steps 11 and 12, which are match points to get this uh, section one to be square before we apply the next section. So you're going to turn section one right side up and lower the needle and it should go right where the seam is from section one, right in that seam line. So when you get it where you like it, Go ahead and stitch the match point. And then it'll go over to this side. And again, we're going to lower the needle so it lands right at the seam line and stitch that match point. So step 13 is to continue with the water soluble thread and we're going to tack down this section one that we've done our match points with. So I'll just hold the fabric nice and firm. Now we're ready to do the match points for section two. So I'm continuing with my water soluble thread. I have section two placed right side to section one and I'm going to lower my needle at that match point again using the, the gray thread seam line as my guide. So I will drop the needle right where that seam line is and hold my fabric flat and square and stitch match point 14. And then match point 15, same thing. I will drop the needle just so it lines up with that gray seam line. And stitch that one. And then the last match point 16 is to just make sure that end is nice and square. This is step 17 and I've changed to the neutral thread in my needle only and before we sew the seam we are going to lower the needle and make sure the needle aligns with the basting stitch from section 2 and once we have that aligned we can go ahead and sew the seam. I have my machine set to sew very slowly and we'll just let it stitch that seam. So let's see how our seam looks. Looks great. So for step 18, we're going to replace uh, the regular thread with water soluble thread and we're going to tack down this section. So I am working on block B5 and so you need to note on your instructions because we're working with two different blocks on this that you make sure your, your back, if you're doing your piece back, is you're using the right one. So I'm doing B5. So my fabric one needs to be just like pictured with my blue in the upper left corner and my orange in the lower right and the seam going this direction. So that's the way I'll do it. So I'll place my back using water soluble thread and I'll tack it down and we'll come back and do step 20. Step 20 we will place thread F in the needle in the bobbin and stitch the decorative square. Step 21, we will place our accent thread in the needle in the bobbin and stitch the diamonds. Step 22, the final step, you'll place thread A in the needle in the bobbin and stitch the quilting. Step 